Audiobooks are great. You can listen on commutes to work, while you work out at the gym, or doing boring tasks like cleaning. Star Wars audiobooks are a little more than your average audiobook, as they usually have music and sound effects to accompany the narration. They are almost like audio dramas, but just lacking, you know, the full cast. Over the past year or so, I have listened to six Star Wars audiobooks, and in this video I will be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly of Star Wars audiobooks. But first, what's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and welcome to another video. If you like today's topic, Star Wars audiobooks, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more. I also have an eBay store, Star Wars Lego sets, I'm getting rid of some Disney Star Wars books, and a copy of uh, Battlefront 2 for PS2, so uh, go check it out if you would like. If you're curious, link to it in the description down below. On to the audiobooks. Good. First up is Star Wars Darth Plagueis by James Lucino and narrated by Daniel Davis on Audible. All of all of the books I'm going to be talking about today are on Audible, just so I'm not going to repeat Audible all the time. And this book was unabridged. When I listened to this book, it was my third time going through the story. Each time you read or listen to Darth Plagueis, you get more references as you read other parts of the EU. James Lucino does a fantastic job with references in his books, and Plagueis is his magnum opus. You could still enjoy Plagueis without all the references, but if you were to immerse yourself in the EU, Plagueis is even better. In case you were wondering, and Darth Plagueis, the story follows the Mune Sith and the decades before the Phantom Menace. We see him defeat his master, Darth Tenebris, gain insight into midichlorians, and recruit Darth Sidious. And obviously, we also get Darth Sidious's rise into his Sith power and eventual supplanting of Plagueis as the Sith Master. It's a great book. It explains a lot of the background to events that lead to what happens in The Phantom Menace. Great to read. Fantastic to listen to. Highly recommend it. Next is Star Wars The Old Republic Deceived by Paul S. Kemp and narrated by Mark Thompson. This also was unabridged. With Deceived, when I read it, I did like it, but I was disappointed. In the book, you have three viewpoint characters, Darth Malgus, the best part of the book, Aaron Lanier, a Jedi Knight, and Zerid Kor, or Z-Man, who is a smuggler. The Malgus stuff is great, and the reason you read or listen to this book. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Aaron is a good character, and her conflict with Malgus is pretty good. Zerid is the weakest, and I didn't enjoy it that much when I read it. But when I listened to Deceived, all the stories got an improvement. The narration elevated this book. A decent book, but a great listening experience. The bad for this section is Star Wars The Old Republic Fatal Alliance by Sean Williams and narrated by Mark Thompson. Also unabridged. In this book, there are several viewpoint characters. You have Ariga Fire Captain Jet Nebula, Jedi Padawan Shigar Conchi, Republic Trooper Laren Moxla, Sith Apprentice Eldon X, and Sith Empire Spy Ula V. All of these, plus a Mandalorian for good measure, go to an auction of a hut to buy what turns out to be a special droids that lead to death and destruction and said fatal alliance to try and destroy the droids. Reading this book wasn't fun, and listening to it was a slog, mostly because I think it was the second time through. This is, if you are curious about this story, I probably, hmm, would I recommend listening to it or reading it? I don't know, that's hard to say. I've done both. Both were a chore. The narration isn't bad. It's it's good. It's just, the story is it's not that good. It's, it's bad. <laughs> the Ugly. And now, the worst books. First up is Star Wars, The Bounty Hunter Wars, Book 1, The Mandalorian Armor by K.W. Jeter, and narrated by Anthony Heald. And this is, this book was abridged. I have read this book, a book, in it, Dengar saves Boba Fett from the Sarlacc, and tons of characters basically want Fett dead the whole, throughout the whole book, throughout the whole series, really. 
it has a present story and then a past story. So the past story is about Boba Fett dismantling the Bounty Hunter Guild, which he succeeds. The audiobook cuts out, what, like at least probably 75% of the book. The audiobook is only about three hours long, and it probably should be like 10, 12 hours long if it was the whole book. So not that I'm complaining, because if you can't tell, this trilogy is garbage. Yeah, it's still a bad story. Would not recommend. Yeah, it just cuts out stuff. So, I mean, was I complaining that it cut stuff out? No, but as we'll see in the second book, let's just get to the second book. Next is Star Wars, The Bounty Hunter War, Book 2, Slave Ship, by K.W. Jetter and narrated by Anthony Heald, also abridged. Um, I didn't read this book, at least I didn't read this book entirely as I got, I don't know, a chapter or two in and put it down because, I, you know, it's garbage. But I did listen to it, and uh, it's also three hours. It cuts basically the mission in the past storyline. It cuts that completely. We just, yeah, it just, it, I feel like with the audiobooks, they focused on the present storyline for the most part and cut most of the other stuff out. And it's like the, the, pre, the past stuff is probably the most interesting part of the story. I don't know. It's just a complete mess. And then last and certainly least is Star Wars, the Bounty Hunters War, blah, blah, book three, hard merchandise by K. You, you get the drill now. Three hours bridged, blah blah, all that. And this this trilogy contradicts some good writing in Tales of the Bounty Hunters, which is a collection of short stories about bounty hunters. So if you're wanting bounty hunter stuff to read, read that over this crappy trilogy. Well, those are the six uh, audiobooks that I listened to this year. Let me know what you thought of these books down in the uh, comment section down below. Uh, and also, let me know if you've uh, listened to any uh, Star Wars audiobooks. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, there's probably more good ones out there. But I might do another video about uh, Star Wars audiobooks eventually at some point, once I've listened to some more. So let me know if you would want that. It's going to be a while. You can watch some of the reviews of these books on screen now. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, thanks for watching.